So this is a very satisfying and exciting sight indeed, which is bales. Bales have been made. Good morning, it is Sunday, I think it's the 10th of July today, um, so we are going to be bailing today. I say we, a contractor is doing it for us, um, but that is the way that my dad did it. And then tomorrow we're going to be making some small bales ourselves, hopefully using dad's small baler, the Massey. Um, so that's exciting. Weather-wise, it's, it's clear, it's hot, it's warm. Uh, which isn't so great for the uh, the grazing here for the sheep and lambs but uh, it's certainly probably as good as it gets for getting the hay in so um, fingers crossed it's all going to go well today and we can have a tally up and find out how many bales we've got from the land up here and I can see the hares in the hay meadow the hares are my uh, good luck sign that my dad is watching over me So it's less breezy today and we have got the rowing up taking place starting over here in this field and uh, we're able to have a look at how we did with the mowing and identify some areas for improvement perhaps a little bit slower and also perhaps a little bit higher on the revs to avoid those uh, longer sections I believe but on the whole We've picked up some hay, we've picked up some grass, so we will have something to feed and we've learned something by doing it. So that's the positive and it looks like amazingly nice stuff. It smells delicious and uh, Will is somewhere up there rowing up. He's just making a start on this field so I'm watching him for tips for when I have to do our field. So there we go, we have our first bales of 2022, eight in that field, and over here we've got rowing up over there in the field under the moor, and more bales going on in here now.
doors open. Yeah. So we've just come up for a count around the bales. It's half past six and uh, the wrapper is on the way round. So um, we started off with eight bales in the first field, 14 in the second, 15 in the third, and then seven in here. Um, so that is a good, a good start. And um, I'll be interested to see what we've got over at the, the field that we call Town Head, which is the first area that we mowed. So how many did we work out we needed for the winter? Uh, well, I think that, gosh, I think we needed about 11 per month for the Hyman cows. Okay. Could be wrong. I've lost my mind. So like a five month winter? Six month winter. Six months winter. Okay, so 66? Yeah, I think it's 66. Okay, and, and we've got 44 just from up here. Yeah. Plus we've got With some really big fields to go. Plus we've got the the oh, town two head, fields yeah. over there. So, so yeah. So hopefully, you know, obviously what we're wanting to do is be able to complete the haymaking season and and to know like whether we've got enough hay, whether we need to buy any, whether we need to get rid of any of the livestock, like what our pl our plan is. Because last winter, because we <clears throat> sort of just like dropped onto taking care of everything, um, we sort of had a week or two where we just just fed the animals whenever they needed it and then I started to count the bales and, and that was when I realised by counting the bales that there was a, a problem so we uh, we don't really want to have another winter like that one um, so so yeah so it's good to know good to very know what good you're doing to know. such a relief so this is a very satisfying and exciting sight indeed which is Bales. Bales have been made. Um, yeah, bales have been made, and that's a good chunk of haymaking started. So we are in this heat wave at the moment in the UK. So it's it's hotter than normal. Um, we've had like a lot of dry weather, so I'm not quite sure how. Uh, the ground's going to respond to this hot weather after haymaking. It'll probably just burn the burn the, the ground off, the grass off. Uh, but the plan is to get these bales moved um, so that we can let the sheep in here and let them eat, eat off the, the bits around the edges and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, on the whole, I'm really happy with how we've uh, sort of handled and managed this first section of haymaking and... Uh, We've done what my dad would have done, uh, mowing and tedding ourselves, and then the rowing up and the baling by a contractor. So, so far we're doing it the exact way that he would have done it. Um, and uh, having a quick glance at his uh, diary, um, we are slightly up on last year's yield for the same amount of land. I think we're about eight bales up on last year. And uh, yeah, you can see we didn't do a, a perfect job of mowing. Uh, there's a few little tufty bits here and there. But on the whole, considering that we were complete novices, I think we did good. So I'm going to look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is good. And uh, I'm really not going to focus on too much on a few tiny little patches. Um, so yeah. Very pleased and uh, what a beautiful Derbyshire morning. Uh, it's exactly the time of, this time a year ago that we also had a heat wave. So hot, hot, hot. So the Highland young stock are enjoying the shade of the trees and hanging out near the watering area, which is probably sensible in this heat and you can just see the bales and the fields that we've mown in the distance. 
So with the weather being so good, we got on with our second part of the haymaking, mowed another 12 acres down in the land at my Uncle Peter's and it had a really good thick crop down there so we got more bales per acre and it was really really nice stuff full of wildflowers we were really happy with it and so at the end of july all of our haymaking was complete and uh, ticked off for 2022 so thank you for watching and i hope you've enjoyed what we got up to bye